Welcome to Tokyo Cheaper. I'm your host Amy, and today we have a special guest with us, Ken. Hello, everyone. I'm a Japanese teacher. Today, I'm here to help you learn some Japanese. And Ken also has his own YouTube channel teaching Japanese, so check that out after. But first, we are going to talk about the top phrases that you need before coming to Japan. Okay, let's do it. We will get into the phrases soon, but first, there are two things that you should definitely know before coming to Japan.、Yes. What are they, Ken? Okay, the first one is, Arigato gozaimasu, which means thank you. Then, casual version is, Arigato. Okay, the other one is, Sumimasen, which means sorry or excuse me. So, if you want to pass、uh, behind someone, you should say, Sumimasen. Sumimasen. <laughs> 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 Or if you bump into someone on the train, like. Sumimasen! <laughs> Sumimasen, <laughs> me sound is really difficult, so some Japanese people say, Suimasen. Either one is okay. For our first of the phrases that you need to know before coming to Japan, we've got a really important one. What is it, Ken? Okay, the first one is. Ego, wakarimasu ka? This means, do you understand English or do you speak English? Ego means English. Wakarimasu ka? This part is, do you understand? Do you speak the language? So, when you come to、uh, Japan, you might get e m e r g e n c y situation, like、uh, having sick or maybe get injured. In this case, you can find English speakers in Japan with this phrase, right? Yeah, it's really useful. Maybe also if you're just traveling around, you go to a tourist information desk、yeah. or the train station and you want to find someone who can speak English, this phrase is really helpful. For our second phrase, how about Ken if I really <laughs> need to go to the toilet? What can I ask? Okay, so, toile, arimasu ka? Toile means obviously toilet, bathroom. Arimasu ka means do you have? Is there any? So, arimasu ka? This phrase is very useful. Like, imagine、uh, when you are in Japan, maybe shopping,、uh, going to Pokemon Center, getting Pokemon Pikachu stuff, and something like that.、Uh, you have the picture on your phone, but、uh, you cannot find in Pokemon Center, then you can show them the photo. Kore arimasu ka? You can say this, which means, do you have this? Kore means this. For the third one, Mm -hmm. uh, Amy, do、yes. you like、uh, taking pictures when traveling? I, I love taking pictures. Okay, okay, okay. So, when you travel in Japan, you know Japan has lots of spectacular scenery. You might want to take the photo with the background with you.、Mm -hmm. uh, you can do selfie, but you can say this. Shashin totte moraemasu ka? So, shashin means pictures. Totte moraemasu ka? Means like, can you take photo for me? Perfect, that one's really useful, especially if you're、yeah. traveling solo. So, when you're traveling in Japan, of course, you're gonna w a n t to try all the delicious food and drinks that are available. So, this next set of phrases is for going to restaurants and cafes.、Mm -hmm. What、okay. is the first one? The first one,、uh, when you enter the restaurants in Japan,、uh, they will say, Nanme sama desu ka? Nanme sama desu ka? Okay, so this means like, how many people? This is not for you to say, but you have to understand.、Mm. Then you can just、uh, gesture one, two, three, four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gesturing always is good, but、yeah. how many people are in your group? Okay, so now we got、uh, the menu here. <laughs> wow, it looks so delicious. <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> At Denny's. <laughs> yeah, I'm so, so hungry. So delicious. <laughs> Okay, so this one has Japanese and English,、mm. right?、Uh, but sometimes、uh, the menu、uh, d o n t have English menu, you know, only Japanese. In this case, it's really hard to understand what it is.、Mm. So you can ask, Ego no menu a r i m a s ka? Ego no menu, English menu, a r i m a s ka? Do you have English menu? Yeah, just yeah. like from before with、yeah. the Pikachu and the toilet, <laughs> Arimasuka comes in handy a lot. Yes, Amy, which one? <laughs> which one would you like to have?、Um, let's go with this one. This one? Yeah. Ah, you know,、uh, when you order、uh, in Japanese, we can say, 
これお願いします。OK。これです。お願いします。Means like please. In this case, I will have this. Just point. Then say, これお願いします。And again, if you want to use your fingers to show how many, maybe you want、yeah. to, that will work too. Yeah, it works. <laughs> They got so many food. Yeah, so、yeah. many. I can't decide what to eat. Okay. Yeah, you know, in this case, they can help you decide, you know, their recommendation. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So in this case, we say, おすすめはどれですかおすすめ means recommendation. どれですか means which one. So you can say, おすすめはどれですか We interrupt this video for an important announcement. What was that? I said there's an important announcement. Subscribe to Tokyo Cheapo. Tokyo what? Tokyo Cheapo. Press the subscribe button. So you're finished eating and you want to pay for your food. Most of the time at restaurants and cafes in Japan, you can pay at the cash register. You will either have a bill on your table, which you just take up to the staff at the register, or. Yeah, we can say, お会計お願いします And then when paying at the cashier, Uh, you might want to pay by credit card, right?、Mm. Yeah, maybe debit card, whatever card. And then in this case, we can say, Card, いいですか Card means obviously card. Credit card, debit card, いいですか means, is it okay to do this? So when you go to a restaurant in Japan,、uh, you might want to go there with your friends,、mm. right? Yeah. And then maybe you want to treat your friends. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Or maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. In this case, you know,、um, we can say, Betsu Betsu de onegai shimasu. To split the bill. Yeah. Betsu Betsu means like, separate. Onegai shimasu. Like, please, thank you. Something like that. Excellent. And then、okay. the very last thing when you're leaving the restaurant. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you want to say? <laughs> this is my favorite. You know, we say, Gochso sama de shita. To appreciate for the food and the person who cooked the chef. If you have forgotten all of the phrases that have come before, this next one is key for you.、Yeah. And it is. Nihongo wakarimasen. So, Nihongo means the Japanese language. Wakarimasen, this part means I don't understand, I don't know. Nihongo wakarimasen. All right, and that concludes all the phrases. Thank you so much, Ken, for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Amy. No worries, and make sure to check out his channel down in the link below. Thank、yeah. you so much. Thank you. All right, bye bye. Bye bye.